Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for the foreign exchange market for Monday, November 9, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have a trading signal service on Patreon. There are 40 traders already on Patreon trading with us, and you'll get access to uh, to all of our, our, our commodities analysis and so on and so on. And uh, you're welcome to join. Link is down below. Uh, so the foreign exchange market. This was a really interesting market to trade in in last week's session. I didn't make none of the, many of these trades, but 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 I should have. Um, so we started off Monday underneath our 50 minute average, and we are looking at the Great British Pound US dollar at this point. Uh, so we started here and we rallied all the way to these highs. So 2.25% uh, in one week is, is fairly good. Um, the main reason for these rallies and most of these massive declines is because of the US um, dollar index depreciating. And if you've seen my other videos, it is, as, it is very likely that it will start appreciating next week. And that means that we are going back lower in this market here. Technical indicators for the US dollar in, uh, the uh, British pound and the US dollar index are fairly mixed at this point, but the, stochast the RSI is looking very bearish. Stochastic, the MACD, and the Bollinger Band um, are fairly bullish at this point, but the Bollinger Band is basically touching the top here, so that is an indication. And we are also hitting the previous highs uh, from three weeks ago. Or So this could be as far as this market goes. And if we turn around here, then we'll find the support here at the 50 moving average at 1293. And the break below that will open the door to the 150 moving average. So if the US dollar index starts appreciating again, then this market will fall. So... US dollar yen. Yes, we did exactly what we technically expected. And uh, this will most likely will be if we have a green candlestick here on Monday session is a market that I will buy into. So we have been trading within this uh, channel for a very long time now, all the way back in April we started and and it has been fairly predictable. Every time we hit a major resistance, we are going down. Every time we hit major support, for example, here, we go up. So this is also the reason due to the depreciation of the US dollar. Um, so it will most likely appreciate. That means that we'll head towards the, the 20 exponential moving average first, and then the very highest here of, the, of this support, this persistent area. Technical indicators... If you look at the RSI, it is oversold at this point, but the other indicators are not turning around yet. If you look at the, at the four hour chart, yes, it is basically starting to turn around on the four hour chart. So, so we, that is an indication that we are going to see something similar to this move here uh, in the next one or two weeks. So, uh, Euro, US dollar. We found resistant here, which also was previous resistant. And at this point, I technically anticipate a pullback towards the 50 moving average. Uh, because if the US dollar index uh, appreciates, then this market will go lower. If you look at the stochastic, for example, for the four hour chart, it is crossing the signal line. And that is a sign that we are going to go lower. Uh, but the indicators, other indicators are not showing that sign. So it may take one or two trading days. We may break this and then just go down, similar to that. Uh, I don't expect us to go to these very highs. Uh, that is not what I expect whatsoever. I expect a pullback from here. So Aussie, US dollar, we found resistant at this area here, which also was previous resistant. We may go a little bit higher, but I don't think we'll go significantly higher from here. A pullback will, is expected. Uh, we can see the RSI is turning around. The CCI is turning around. If you look at the four-hour chart for the stochastic, it is, no, that is fairly bullish at still. So we'll probably stay here for, for uh, probably a day or two. 
before we turn around. Um, the first uh, support will be here at the 50 moving average at 0 0.71. Um, and after that, the 150 moving average at 0 0.7056. So if you US dollar, Canadian dollar, we have broken this major uh, support area. Now we're heading towards, well, if we um, break these previous resist uh, support here, then we are going to go much lower. So this is basically the last wall we have to get through. We have room to the downside. The RSI is only at 40. So we have room to spare to the downside. I truly anticipate us to go and, and catch up with this trend line here. But if the US dollar index basically starts to appreciate, then we'll turn around towards the 50 moving average before we continue lower. Um, but if you want to enter the market, you should have entered it here and basically sold it down toward here. A break of this line will open the door to these to these lows, and then it will go much, much lower. So, hope you find this help video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. You're welcome to join us on Patreon. A lot of uh, traders have already done that, and it's working out very well. The link is down below in this video. So, good luck, and thank you very much. Thank you.